Hi, I'm Carl Johansson from Sony's Developer Program. Today I will be talking about Sony's Future Lab program and its first concept prototype N and how to start developing for it. The Future Lab program is basically where Sony shares concept prototypes with users to influence future technologies. For these concept prototypes, we are preparing to open the development environment. As a developer for the Future Lab program, you will be able to try new technologies and create innovative applications. As a first concept prototype from the Future Lab program, we have N. N is an open ear, neckband style wearable device that allows users to hear ambient sound and stay engaged with the surrounding world while benefiting from the additional audio information that N can provide. You can, for example, use voice commands to request nearby restaurant information while exploring a new city. Or let N give your information about speed, distance and calorie counts when riding your bike. N features, among other things, a gyro and acceleration sensor, a hands-free camera, Bluetooth and NFC. So what about developing for N? Where do you start? Let me guide you through a few simple steps to get you started. Go to Developer World, browse to the Future Lab program section and click on N. Here you can find all necessary information to start developing, such as guides, SDK and API information. Note that to develop an app, you should be familiar with JavaScript web application programming and the JSON format. Before you start developing, make sure to download and install the Future Lab Program N app on your smartphone. You can find the app in the Google Play Store. Once that is in place, in the N developer site, you will need to create an account and sign in. This will give you access to more necessary information. You will also need to link a Facebook account to your N developer account. The Facebook account link is required to identify users and to tie segments together with the developer's N device. When you're signed in, you will access all development information for N. There is also a chance for you to acquire a device. Go to Tool Loan form and submit the request form. Note that this is not necessary in order to develop for N, since there is an emulator in the SDK that allows you to try your apps without an actual device. So, before you begin, we suggest you take a look at the N software architecture and design guidelines. Now, it's time to download the SDK. Go to Download the SDK, click Download. The SDK is a zip file that contains the Segment Developer Tools app, release notes and sample segments. Segments are in this case the same as apps. The Segment Developer Tool app is the emulator that allows you to test your apps. To see more information about the SDK, go to Get Started with the SDK. There you will also find information on how to set up the Segment Developer Tools app for the first time. Once you have installed and started the application, it will look like this. The Segment Developer Tools app is divided into three parts. The list of registered segments, the segment control panel for the selected segment, and the control panel for the simulation. Now, you are ready to start creating your own apps. Go to the API overview and use the Segment API to develop an information stream for the personalized radio service, which is part of N. And in the submenu Samples Overview, you can find a description overview of the samples included in the SDK. For a step-by-step -step instruction on how to develop an app, Go to How to create your first segment, expand the steps for more detailed information. If you get stuck or need help, go to the FAQ section or click Get Support. There you will find information on how to post your questions. 
Once you feel you are ready to test your app, go to the Segment Developer Tools app, add one or more segments to the segment list, then click Launch to initiate the segment. See if the segment runs without any problems. If everything is OK, it's time to create a CPK file of your segment. To do that, click Export in the Settings section. Now it's time to upload the segment to your N account on the developer website. This is necessary to test your app on N. Go to Developer Profile and click Upload Applications. Select the CPK file for your segment and upload it to the server. Before the next step, make sure your smartphone is tethered via Bluetooth to N in order for this step to work. Go to the N app on your smartphone and locate your segment in the segment list. Add your segment. You are now ready to test your segment on N. You need to sign in with the same Facebook account to configure the N app on your smartphone as previously linked to your N developer account. This will allow you to access the segments you upload. You can always go back and manage your uploaded apps. This might come in handy when you want to manage different versions of the same app. We also encourage you to publish your segment so other end users can access and enable your segment by using the end smartphone app. When you publish a segment, Sony will evaluate it against the segment design guidelines and add it to the end app. You can find more information about this under publish your segment. So there you have it, a few steps on how to start developing for Concept Prototype N.